be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be. Hey guys, I'm Chris Pedal with iPedal Productions, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a pretty basic muscle flash with After Effects. So, and you know, I'm also gonna show you how to do the the blowback on the gun. I mean, not it's not blowback, but you get what I mean. That you know. You know, um, yeah, so. Yeah. Alright guys, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a muscle flash on black, which you can find on Google. Your stock footage, which you can record yourself or on your HP webcam or your Mac webcam or whatever. And your, you know, the sound of your gun, and I can show you how to get that. I have another tutorial, link will be in the description. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna import that into your After Effects, and you're gonna take your base footage and drag it into your timeline and it should create a new comp should fit pretty good and zoom in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the part to where you're shooting the gun and you're gonna get it to the exact point where you shoot it once you get where right before you shoot it or right when you get motion you're gonna drag your muzzle flash in and you're gonna right click and set the blending mode to uh, screen and you're gonna basically get it the size you want it for the muzzle flash. That seems about right. So, um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, rotate it around so that will fit. So, to do that, you're gonna hit W on the keyboard, or you can just hit this little button up here. And you just rotate it the way you need it. And once you have it to go back, you can either press the selection tool or hit V. <coughs> Excuse me. Get it like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our base footage and we're oh actually first let's take our muzzle flash and we're gonna make it to one frame long. And then we're gonna take our base footage and duplicate it. And now on our second layer, we're gonna right click and set the blending mode to add. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the selection tool right up here, the pencil, or you can hit the key G, and we're going to select the spots to where light would be exposed after the muscle flash. So this would be the envir environmental effect. And don't worry, it's a little choppy now, but it's alright. And you can always spend more time, but I'm just trying to get this tutorial done as fast as possible. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to feather it. So if you go down and press that button and you go into mask, on each one you're going to want to, uh, one sec. click the arrow and you'll want to bring the feather up. You're going to have to go through each mask and just bring the feather up. And another thing we can do is on the muzzle flash, if you hit down and you go on a transform, you go on to opacity, you can bring it down and it looks a little see through because not all muzzle flashes are as thick as that one is. So sort of like that. And now you can see it creates exposure and light all around the room. And you can also get them on the corners here too, but um, that's all we're going to need for now. Um, now what some people have questions on are the, the blowback, doing the blowback yourself. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now. What you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the third layer. And then on that third layer, you're going to press the selection tool or pen tool. And you're going to select the top of the slide. And you're going to press V and bring it back. And you're going to move it all the way back as if the slide is going back. Like that. And it's a rough image, but it works. And, um... Also, I forgot to say, on two and three, we're gonna wanna make them all one frame. Actually, um, for the blowback on the slide, we're definitely gonna wanna make that two frames because it's always slower than light. And you could do it sorta however you want on the second frame. 
can go like this. Now let's watch it. Oh. There you go. It creates an effect, and probably the stuff around here isn't that good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, um, our sound. I'm gonna drag it in just about the right time where your muscle flash would be. And once we're done with that, we wanna um, basically render the video. We're gonna go to composition, add to render queue. And then we're gonna render queue will pop up here. We're gonna click on the looseless. And it should pop up. You can change your settings here. Quick time, all this different stuff. Um, MPEGs and MPEG4 are actually really good because they've got. Don't forget to check the audio box at the bottom. It's crucial if you want your audio. So you hit OK. And then you're going to go to Output 2. And when you do that, you can change the name. I can do Test. And save it to my desktop. I hit save. I already have one left. Whatever. And then you hit render. And once it's done rendering, that then you've done it. And it's just where it should be. So I hope that helped you. And uh, yeah, good luck. Keep on making those videos. Hey guys, Chris Pino here with iPad Productions. And I'm going to be showing you how to do a muzzle flash. I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, 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 I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, 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 I'm a.